Hey everybody, it is Tuesdays with Alvin once again. Got to thank Brendan for taking over for me last week while I was out of the shop, but I'm back to show off some incredible pens. We've got a number of very rare limited edition pieces to show off today. Lots of great new releases after Fountain Pen Day, so lots of exciting things to show off to you guys just in time for the holiday season. Go ahead and wait for everybody to tune in before we get started. Uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments. I also have Brendan uh, in the chat moderating. He can also answer questions if I miss anything. And then uh, definitely take a look at that message when you first join in. If you guys use the discount code TikTok on our website when you're checking out, you can get 10% off your entire order. There's a couple exclusions to that, um, but pretty much everything will work for 10% off. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my camera. So the very first item on the menu today is the very sought after Pelican M800 40 Years of Suveron Limited Edition. And just look at that shine. Ooh, it's gleaming. So this is the very limited Pelican M800 that has been specially appointed in a number of different ways to commemorate 40 years of the Pelican Suveron series being released so definitely let me know what y'all think in the chat as i go over some of the best features of this pen let's go ahead and get right into it first off we have a beautiful gold ring around the center of the grip section let's go ahead and zoom in on that you can see it has an incredible shine this entire pen is absolutely gleaming those stripes around the middle are meant to highlight the handcrafted striping that is iconic for the Pelican Suveron series. Each of these stripes are painstakingly made in the factory and handpicked by master level craftsmen. So you are only getting the perfect of perfect stripes on your Pelican. Uh, yeah, I can definitely show you my favorite pen. Hey, Phil, could you grab me my case real quick? I'll show it towards the end when I'm done showing off the new pens, if that's fair enough for you. Back to the Pelican M800, 40 years of Suveron, limited edition. So you have the gold band appointment in the middle, and then you also have the gold plated piston knob. So let's go ahead and take that cap off. You can see here there's also a metal gold grip section. But this piston knob is entirely done up in metal to really add to the premium and limited edition nature of this pen. And then you can see that metal grip section as well, which is pretty rare to see on Pelicans. Most of the time it's just a regular resin grip section, so a full metal bodied grip feels great in the hand. And then the most notable thing to show off here is the 40 years, let me turn this uh, ring light off for a second. 40 years special stamping. Man, look at that shine, isn't that intense? <laughs> yeah, great question. This pen is available right now on atlasstationers.com for $1,920 on the dot, 1920. This is limited to just 888 units in the entire world. Um, so incredibly limited. We only have a couple left. We already sold a number of them uh, on our website. So they are going pretty quickly. If you're looking to get one and you're in the US, there might not be too many left to buy. So I would definitely not wait too long. <laughs> Does it have a 40 year warranty? I don't believe so, but Pelican warranty is phenomenal and the craftsmanship of their pens is absolutely astonishing. Uh, so. The reliability, I would definitely not even you know worry about. Um, and then if you do have any defects, you can always come out to us or uh, Pelican themselves will definitely take care of you. Um, is it plated to look like gold? Or are the embellishments actually gold plate? Um, so this is actually gold plating on the ring here and the back cap. Um, and then 
Uh, this is all just kind of um, colored metal. So this is like anodizing work for the band and the clip here, that top vinyl. The nib itself is solid 18 karat gold. And I'm not sure if the grip section is plated gold. Um, I didn't see any information for that when I was doing some research. But you can always send us a DM and we can try to find that information for you. Uh, and yes, it has a full-size gift box. Um, this is just the insert of the box. It comes in a larger gift box. I don't have it with me though. Um, but it does have a full-size limited edition box that is completely unlike any of the other um, Pelican boxes. So if you've bought Pelican before, uh, this is going to be totally different. So this is just an insert that lifts out of the box itself. I just took this just to make it easy on me. But you can see in the actual insert, you get the limited edition plaque. So you can see exactly what number we have. And then you have a limited edition ink that is exclusive to this pen. So it's that dark green limited edition. You can see right there. Limited edition 4001 dark green. Thank you for sharing the live, man. And thank you for the questions really helps us out. So there we have it. The Pelican M800 40 years of Suveron. Absolutely amazing. Send us some likes if you like this pen. If you guys have any comments about this pen, love it, hate it, definitely let us know. And let's go ahead and move on for now. Of course, if you guys want to see this one again, just let me know. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. And next up, I've got two or technically three uh, new um, Viscontis to look at. Uh, a total username, this runs for 1920 US dollars. Absolutely amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with the very exciting Visconti Homo Sapiens Kaleido limited edition. This colorway is called Unicorn, so you'll see it on our website, uh, Visconti Kaleido Unicorn. This is a Visconti Homo Sapiens model, I believe. Uh, we do have clear pens. I don't have any with me right now, though. Um, so this is a Visconti that all of the resin is made by the one and only Jonathan Brooks. So if you guys are unfamiliar, Jonathan Brooks is an American um, pen maker uh, who specializes in making these resin rods for fountain pens. And all of his resins are very iconic for the master level quality of the swirling and very unique colors. Let's go ahead and highlight that to start off here. So we have this beautiful bright blue and pink swirling. You can see the pink is really subtle on this pen, but it's there for sure. And then you have the large pieces of flake on the inside. You have the repeating Medici coat of arms, which is Visconti's icon or their logo. So it's that Visconti V in a repeating pattern around the band. Uh, resin. That's right. Hi, Clowny. How's it going? I don't know if you've been on my streams or Brendan's streams, but I try to remember everybody. It usually takes me a couple times seeing your name though, but hello. Okay, let's go ahead and take this cap down for a moment. So full Jonathan Brooks resin that he calls Unicorn. What we have is the hook safe lock mechanism for the cap. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the Homo sapiens, basically the way the cap works is you push and twist and it's gonna lock in any orientation. So I can put this cap on any orientation, as you guys can see, that's closed, that's closed, that's closed. It goes on any orientation, so it's very quick. Clowny, then it's been me. Good to see you again then. And then it uses the Visconti power filling mechanism, which is a type of vacuum filler. So you would dip this into a bottle of ink, shoop, suck up ink just like that. Super simple. And then you close this knob to stop ink from traveling from the reservoir to the nib. Whenever you want to write with this pen, you give it a couple turns and you are good to write. 
incredibly beautiful piece. This is limited edition. I don't know how many units uh, are available, but we have them right now on atlasstationers.com for $636. We have all of the nib sizes still available except the stub. Um, so that does mean they're selling out kind of quick. So don't wait too long to pick yours up. Uh, I am amazing. Yes, it is slightly transparent. Okay, Brian in the chat is saying only 120 units. So definitely very, very rare. Uh, but you can see it is slightly translucent. Uh, you can see some of the internal mechanisms inside here. You can see that piston right there. So slightly translucent. So when you do fill it with ink, you will be able to see the ink. Um, maybe not the color, but at the very least the ink level, which will be very helpful. And then underneath, that is that in-house Visconti 14 karat nib that has their new stamping design on there. I love the design of their stamp. You can see it is two Visconti logos on each side that make up the overall shape with some additional appointments. Squatch Trek, thank you for the fire. But absolutely amazing. There you go. So if y'all are interested in a Homo sapiens, maybe you don't own one yet, this would be a great way to get something that is both limited edition and a little bit more affordable than a standard Homo sapiens at $636. It's not a bad price for such a limited piece. And if you guys have never owned anything from Jonathan Brooks before or a collaboration with Jonathan Brooks, you really will fall in love with the quality of the resin and how beautiful it is. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but the level of shimmer and kind of gleam, all of the swirls have so much shine to them, but then there's these bigger pieces of flake throughout the pen body that really add to another level of dimension. Uh, I don't. Um, the cheapest fountain pen in our shop is the Platinum... Uh, either the Platinum Preppy or the Pilot Varsity. So I would look those ones up on the website. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Set that down right there. Savage Ghost. It is a full 14 karat nib. It's plated in palladium to give it that silver coloring. Um, but that is a solid 14 karat gold nib plated with another rare metal palladium to give it the silver coloring. So that is solid gold underneath. All right, next up, we have the very special Visconti backgammon in two different ways. So there's two ways to go about this pen. This one here is called the pip, and then this one is the dice. So let's go ahead and set this one down for just a moment. What we have here is an incredibly special limited edition release from Visconti, the Visconti Backgammon, which is an homage to one of the world's oldest board games. I'm not too familiar with Backgammon, but I'm sure you guys have heard it or played it before. What we have is a silver, um, a sterling silver trim body that is plated with palladium. So all of that silver that you see is 925 sterling silver, but is then plated in palladium. And the reason that a lot of these brands will plate their silver is so that it doesn't patina or tarnish over time. Because all of the coloring on this pen is a soft enamel, um, by using a silver polishing cloth on a pen like this, you would definitely start scratching up the resin right away. So by plating all of that silver, you can use a soft microfiber keep the pen polished and not worry about tarnishing. So all of the kind of silver that you see on this pen is silver with palladium plating. A screw cap with a little ink window right there underneath the cap. On that cap, you have the Visconti Medici coat of arms there. Screw cap on the inside, as you can see, with a little bit of an inner cap. So it does create a seal around the nib itself. 
And then this uh, Visconti comes with the 18 karat gold nib. So that's something to definitely pay attention to um, with the Visconti brand is Usually their lower end models or their non-special editions or limited editions will have 14 karat gold nibs like this one here. And then on the premium models, kind of the highest of high end, you have the 18 karat gold nib. They actually feel very, very similar to each other, um, but there is a difference. And then the hip piston knob here will unscrew and then you have that power filling mechanism. So it is a vacuum filler, just like that. Now my favorite feature of this, which I may have to get here, um, is the box. Uh, each pen comes with a collector's box, of course, um, but inside of that collector's box is incredibly special, something that you don't see from any pen makers. They actually have a handmade game set. So you, with this pen, you get a full handmade um, backgammon game set. So you get the board, which is made ent entirely out of palmetto uh, Italian leather. And then you have custom made um, pieces for uh, like all the checker pieces are entirely custom made as well, just for this release. So if you guys are backgammon fans, maybe you've got family or loved ones that are fans of backgammon, this could definitely be an amazing piece since it is a beautiful pen that is heavily inspired by the board game and even comes with a handcrafted special edition game board. Sweet. So we have the Visconti backgammon in both styles available for $3,160. These are very limited to 128 units. So definitely don't wait long if you're interested. Adrian Garcia, 5827, uh, what's a good slim fountain pen? I would recommend like the Cross Century 2 or the uh, Waterman Hemisphere would both be great options for a slim fountain pen. Here we go, the doubling dice version. We've got number three here, very low number. Thanks for placing your order. Don't forget to use the discount code TikTok when you check out, you get 10% off your whole order. Thank you so much. So very similar pen, just with that doubling piece instead of the pip piece there. Beautiful. All right. Now, we have one more pen to show off today. Let me go ahead and flip my notes real quick here. So, this is the brand new David Oscarson Deus Regit. This is one of the most premium pens that we have in the shop or that we've ever carried in the shop, to be quite honest a true work of art in a pen combined. What we have here is a entirely handcrafted solid sterling silver pen with full engraving and guilloche work and hard enamel filling. I'm gonna go ahead and go into a lot of detail about this pen so you guys can truly appreciate the quality of craftsmanship in this. Let's go ahead and get started uh, by the fact that this pen is entirely made out of a solid sterling silver rod. So this entire pen begins its life as a solid rod of sterling silver, and everything is then engraved out of that silver. So nothing is ever added on. It is only engraved and cut away. So you have a solid piece of sterling, and there is no way for anything to potentially kind of break off on its own, since it is all from one solid piece. Uh, this pen here weighs 
quite a bit. Um, I believe it's... Uh, sorry, I know this one. Um, how much silver does this start off with? I'm going to try to see if someone can get that answer for you. I don't know off the top of my head right now, but Squatch Trek, I'll definitely get that answer for you. Okay, so solid uh, sterling pen that is then engraved. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. So all of the detail work that you see on this pen starts as an engraving. So on this barrel, that is full guilloche work. On the cap here, all of that is engraved from that solid piece. And then it is filled with a hard enamel. And if you guys aren't familiar, a hard enamel is a type of glass uh, material. Um, basically, the way that they make this hard enamel is they hand ground um, the uh, different chemicals, uh, the powdered enamel, and then water. And they will grind that in a pestle and mortar by hand for multiple hours until it becomes this perfect fine paste. Once they create that paste, they evaporate all of the water out of that paste, and then they apply all of the coloring to this with a quill by hand. One of the most notable features of this hard enamel that is definitely something to pay attention to is that every single color has to be fired individually multiple times in a kiln. So they will take this pen and put it in a kiln, firing it at temperatures well over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit to cure all of the different enamels onto this pen. So if you guys can see here, there's a bit of a yellow and a white. That is all done in one go. And then they have this silver color here that is all done in a separate run. So this pen here will be fired in a kiln multiple times while it's being created. And I actually have my loop right here. So let's go ahead and really take a close look at the details. And look at that amazing level of quality. Let's see if I can focus better here. Let's see, hold on, let me zoom all the way out. There we go. Look at that level of quality. Absolute perfection on the engraving. So if you guys can see, this is some of the first times that David Oscarson has ever been able to accomplish using multiple colors in a single section. Normally they will have one solid color that is then surrounded by that silver border so that they can fire it one color at a time because there's such a high fire rate or such a high failure rate by messing up the colors. If they go outside of tolerance or outside of order for each color, it can actually burn the enamel. And once that happens, they have to start over from scratch. So there is truly nothing but perfection that is accepted on any of David Oscarson's pieces. But if you pay attention to this yellow and white here, they've been able to actually mix in the yellow and the white hard enamel and fire it in one go without burning either color, which is incredibly difficult to do. So hats off to David Oscarson for achieving that level of complexity in their hard enamel work. There's a reason why these guys are the best of the best when it comes to hard enamel work and engraving. Some details to really pay attention to. You can actually see angels playing the trumpet in the guilloche work in that sun ray there. Let's see some right there, over there as well. There's a number of them. Oh yeah. Truly special. And then on this pen, what you have here is full guilloche work with some silver rays going down. You can actually feel that. So that is solid where they have a perfectly finished layer of that hard enamel to make it perfectly rounded. But you can feel the difference between the hard enamel and that exposed sterling silver there. These, um, This guilloche pattern is actually meant to represent flames coming up so on the top of the cap you have heaven and the top finial that is pure white to represent the heavens above and then underneath you actually have a fully blacked out opaque black finial 
to represent the depths of hell and the snake here to represent the devil's temptation. So a full representation of heaven and hell in one pen. Beautiful snake finished there on that pen with the little ruby jewels for the eyes. Incredible level of detail. All of these sterling silver is hand finished. So every single millimeter of this pen is inspected and finished by master level silver, master level silversmith. Underneath on the grip section, you actually have two patterns that are engraved. You have the jail cell here, and then you have the rays of sun here meant to represent paradise and purgatorio, purgatory. Yeah, the ruby eyes are a really nice pop of detail that don't take away from the rest of the pen. I can really appreciate that. It's really easy with a color like red to overpower all of the uh, silver and gray and white in this pen and the yellow. And then that nib is a German-made 18-karat solid gold nib with the David Osterkson logo and scroll work in two-tone gold. So that is a solid gold nib. And then what they do is they plate part of it in palladium or rhodium to get that two-tone finish. Absolutely amazing. We have this very limited David Oscarson Deus Regent available right now on atlasstationers.com for $6,400. If you guys are serious about a pen like uh, David Oscarson, definitely give us a call or shoot us an email. Um, and we can definitely work with you one-on-one -on -one for any of these high-end purchases. Any David Oscarson model, any of these limited editions I've showed off today, you can always give us a call to inquire about them. Sweet. So this is the David Oscarson Deus Regit right now on Atlas Stationers for $6,400. Let me see. Uh, 88 units worldwide. 6400 People definitely have the money for these. Otherwise, why would I have it in my hand right now? <laughs> 88 units worldwide for this piece, so incredibly rare. 18 karat gold nib and a standard international cartridge converter. Absolutely beautiful. All right. If you guys want to see this again, just let me know. I'm going to set it down right there for now. All right. So those are all the new pens that I have for this week. Uh, we already have a bunch of new stuff that's getting ready for next week. So on the next Tuesdays with Alvin, I'm going to have a lot of new pens to show off yet again. All right. And then... I got one more very, very special thing to show off today. Uh, and then if that other person is still in the chat that was asking about my favorite pens, let me know and I'll show those off. If you're not in the chat anymore, I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Um, but let's go ahead and flip this camera one more time, y'all. So what we have here is an Atlas Stationers exclusive ink that we've been prepping for all year long. This is Ferris Wheel Press Atlas Iron Ore. This ink is available for pre-order right now on our website for $27. This is an exclusive colorway that was developed in collaboration with Ferris Wheel Press's headquarters. And they did just an amazing job on this. Squatch Trek, you better be ready, man. So what we have is a color that was actually inspired by the pillars outside of our retail shop. Let me flip my camera real quick. I don't know if you guys can see, uh, there's actually no pillars behind me. Let's see, right there, the, this guy right here. All of these pillars go all the way from the bottom of our store all the way past the top. Um, this is a historic building that we are based in here in Chicago. Um, so to honor that, we have this very special ink to showcase 
the long heritage of Atlas Stationers, founded in 1939, and uh, as well as our building, which is even older than Atlas Stationers, I believe. Yep, Brendan in the chat. This is going to release on November 18th. Oh, my bad, my bad. You can get email notifications. There's not pre-orders quite yet. Thanks for the correction, Brendan. So can't quite pre-order it, but you can do the email notifications. I know we have quite a lot of these. Uh, I definitely still would not wait, though. Uh, a lot of people have been anticipating this release, so I know they're going to go fast, even though we have a lot of them. Um, but I actually am going to swatch these for you guys live. So let me go ahead and get ready for that. Let's go ahead and open up this bottle for everybody if you've never opened up a ferris wheel press bottle we'll do a live unboxing what you have is a 38 milliliter bottle of ink that comes out of its own little tray that protects it during shipment Put that right there here it is atlas iron ore so this is a dark gray and black ink with some brown tones with silver flake as you can see here it's all that silver mica and uh, let me go ahead and get ready to swatch this bad boy. Yes, Brendan, we are gonna do some live swatching. Make sure I can get in here comfortably. All right, let's raise this up just a little bit. And there we go. Turn the brightness down a little bit too so it doesn't gleam too much. All right. So I'm just using my own dip pen. This is my personal pen, so. Get ready here. All right, so the first thing you always wanna do when you have a shimmering bottle of ink is you want to give it a good jostling. Uh, you guys wanna to try to avoid shaking the bottle uh, and try to do these kind of swirling motions. It really doesn't matter. It just stops, um, it just stops the uh, ink from bubbling up so much so it's easier to fill. What's up? Uh, Ferris Wheel Press from Canada. So this is an exclusive ink. You can only get this ink here at Atlas Stationers after November 18th. So definitely sign up for the email notifications on our website. Uh, so you guys can get first dibs on this exclusive ink. Once it's gone, it's gone. So don't wait long. All right. Let's go ahead and get a healthy little dot there. Set this aside carefully. All right. Let's get right into it. <laughs> the fountain pen. Uh, so the dip pen, uh, the ink basically sits in this little pool underneath the nib, and then it will slowly release as you write. Super simple, very old technology. Okay. I'm going to really try to make this swatch good and take my time with it by dropping the bottle, that really helps. I spilled ink a little bit. There we go. Just really want this swatch to be good. Uh, with a fountain pen, you can use a uh, converter to fill directly from the bottle. With the dip pen, you just keep dipping it. 
that way you always have a little bit under that nib. But it actually holds quite a bit of ink, um, especially if you're using calligraphy ink. This is fountain pen ink, so it kind of falls off a little bit faster. That wasn't great. So you can see there, I ran out of ink a little bit. I'm gonna re-dip. Make that look a little bit nicer. There we go. Awesome. Salmon Boy, are you talking about... This is not expensive. Uh, the title of the uh, live stream was from an earlier pen that we showed off. This guy right here. All right, let's go ahead and get a really good swatch. So I'm gonna cycle this through once more, really distribute all of that beautiful flake. And here we go. Yeah, the um, David Oscarson Deus Regis is priced at $6,400 because it is entirely made out of solid sterling silver, entirely done uh, by master level silversmiths. And then they are one of the only companies in the world that are doing hard enamel work. Probably the only, um, one of the only fountain pen companies that is doing hard enamel work, which is incredibly difficult a totally different process from something like a soft enamel, which you guys are used to with like pins and stuff like that. I can actually show you guys right here. Let me uh, screw this back on real quick. All right, we'll go ahead and let this dry and then we'll show it off. But basically you have a pen that is entirely made out of sterling silver. And then all of this coloring is glass. Uh, they call it hard enamel, but it is a type of glass that has to be applied. Um, basically all the colors are hand mixed in a pestle and mortar. And then once they're perfectly mixed, they're applied onto the pen by a quill. And then it has to be fired in a kiln at a very specific temperature over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit to get it to properly cure without burning. And then they have to apply the next color and fire it at a different temperature since every single color has its own firing temperature. So everything is done in a very particular order to make sure that nothing burns or melts. So this is full solid sterling silver with that hard enamel work, 6,400. Now let's look at another very limited edition pen from Visconti. Another great quality pen, but some of the key differences is all of this sterling silver, it's not solid all the way through. So you have the sterling silver stripes, but then that is plated in palladium. So it's not solid or not, uh, not exposed sterling. And then all of this is soft enamel. So soft enamel is what you're, you guys are used to, uh, with like pins, um, buttons, things like that. So this is a much softer material that may potentially micro scratch over the years. Whereas this hard enamel, you know, this pen is solid silver and glass and gold. That is the only materials that you see on this pen. It's silver, glass, and gold. Whereas you have the soft enamel, which is a resin-based enamel. So it's not glass, it's resin. And then you have a much smaller amount of sterling that doesn't go all the way through the pen. So you can see here, this is all resin. All this is resin. So you have something that's limited edition, still amazing quality at $3,000 
and then you take it up kind of to the maximum here with David Oskarsson at 6400 So if that helps with an understanding of how they price these pens, let me know. All right, we are almost done with this Atlas Iron Ore. It's still drying a bit. Let that dry a little bit more before we finish off there. Uh, this is our shop, Atlas Stationers. Uh, so we got a lot of pens here at the shop, of course. Uh, these are not my personal pens. <laughs> I have um, a couple of my personal pens here. I was gonna show somebody else, but they left. Um, but yeah, I've got some, I've got about 18 pens personally. Uh, 4,000. Uh, these ones here are close to that. Where is my uh, where are my notes? What's this one exactly? These ones are three thousand one hundred sixty dollars. This is the Visconti Backgammon Limited Edition. This one here, the David Oscarson, this one is the one that's 6,400. Full sterling silver. Edward Oldray, that's a great question. Uh, this, uh, for one, is entirely handcrafted by master level silversmiths and master level enamel uh, workers, lacquers, if you will. Uh, so, you know, not only are you buying a beautiful, perfect pen, um, but you are getting truly a piece of art. So, you know, you have to really consider the handmade nature of these pens. It takes four years uh, as an apprenticeship uh, for just the hard enamel alone. So you actually have to apprentice for at least four years with David Oscarson before they even let you do any hard enamel work on these pens. Unfortunately, I can't write with this guy. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'd love to. I can write with another one of my pens, though. Uh, if I'm in Chicago, can I come? Uh, Braxtonator, you are always welcome to apply on our website, atlasstationers.com. Uh, at the bottom, you can find the career section. Thanks for the inquiry, buddy. Um, and then No Gas asks, is it possible that the glitter in the ink could clog the nib? Let me flip my camera for this. Okay, so that's a great question. Um, so for the most part, fountain pen inks with glitter, also known as shimmer, uh, do not really clog the pens. They're designed specifically to not clog fountain pens, but there's always a chance. Um, if we take a look at this bottle here, you can see all of that ink, but the flake settles to the bottom, right? So it's gonna do the same thing that it does in the bottle as it does in the pen. So if you fill up your pen with ink, say we got our fountain pen right here, and you just let it sit um, nib side down. Oh, that's a great, that's way better. Thank you, Laishla. All right, Laishla here has done an amazing job at bringing me a clear pen with flake. So you see all that flake? Oh my God, this just leaked on me. <laughs> can, I, <laughs> can I get the cap? <laughs> no, that was it. Did you just fill this up? No. Whoa. Oh, I bet it's not seated all the way in here. Maybe. A little pen repair. Awesome. Yeah, maybe it's just me. All right, I'm gonna get ink on my pants if I don't be careful. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so, all of that flake there, it will settle if you just let it sit on its own. So, um, when I, uh, whenever I have people in the shop buying the shimmery inks, I always recommend that you jostle the pen before you start writing with it to distribute all of that flake. You can see here how this pen has definitely been sitting on its side and you got a lot of flake right there. As long as you jostle the pen before you start writing, it's never going to clump up into the feed where it can clog. Um, but with the inks like this, if it does stop writing and you think it's clogging, just push more ink through or even just run it some under some water uh, and it'll get going right away. But that's a great question. Um, but the answer is no, but it can if you are not, you know, kind of maintaining the pen and using it regularly. Great question though. And then someone was asking about my personal pens. Uh, today, I have my Platinum Azumo. We've got a couple of the Machie Platinum Azumos in the shop, so you can go on atlasstationers.com and look up Platinum Azumo. 
This one here is just the regular Arushi with red, 18 karat gold nib. I love this guy. And then the other pen I have is my Nakaya Dikapod Twist. So this is full Arushi lacquer. Another one of my personal pens. So gorgeous. This is probably my favorite pen in my entire collection, to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and flip this camera. I think this is dry enough, honestly. It's still a little bit wet. So this is our new exclusive ink. So you can only get this here at atlasstationers.com on November 18th. This is the Ferris Hill Press Atlas Iron Ore. So you can see that beautiful dark black color with a lot of that brown sheening that really gives it that iron oxide look, oxidizing look there. And then lots of silver shimmer. You can see there in the text, the shimmer comes through beautifully without overpowering the ink itself. You still get those beautiful, like subtle brown hues. You can see a lot of it right there. Yeah, the sheen is subtle, but it really defines the ink nicely. Lots of silver flake. Look at that. So this one is going to release November 18th. You can only get it here at Atlas Stationer, so definitely keep an eye out. If you guys are interested in purchasing this ink for $27, bucks, uh, you can sign up for email notifications today on our website. If you go to the uh, product page for this ink, you can sign up for restock notifications as soon as it's available for purchase. We'll send you an email and you can get one right away. Awesome. Hey, what's up, man? I have a question. I have an answer. So, I bought this? Yep. All right. So, um, still have the crazy space shuttle pen in stock. We do. It's on closeout, Doug. Uh, so if you are really interested in the SQ DuPont Space Odyssey, um, you can go on our website and in checkout, I believe you can use uh, the code LC20 and get 20% off, which is a huge amount of money for a pen of that caliber. Uh, Doug, it is the ST DuPont Space Odyssey Prestige Edition. You know, some people would say that uh, buying a car is also a waste of money. <laughs> I bought my car and I definitely feel like it was a waste of money. Yeah, one second, let me flip my camera. The most expensive today on our stream is right here. This is the David Oscarson Deus Regis, J Deus Regit for $6,400. Solid sterling silver, entirely made out of sterling silver. Everything is engraved from that solid rod. So all of this detail that you see, all the guilloche work, all of the clouds, the snake right here, it's all from one solid piece that is then cut down to size. Pen is useful too. You gotta write stuff every day. Yeah, we hear that a lot. Very unique. That's a good point. You know what? I agree with that. If we could improve public transit across the United States, I'd have more money for pens. <laughs> Incredibly smooth rider. They're tuned out of the box. Any nib size that you'd prefer. It's the 18 karat gold nib, so it's a little bit soft, has a little bit of bounce to it. I cannot write with this. The first person who is gonna ink this up is the person that buys it. Sorry about that, y'all. But uh, I have another pen that's in my personal collection that's also 18 karat gold. So uh, I'm gonna set this aside and we can uh, write some stuff down real quick. Let me flip this back down. All right, got my notes here. Let's go ahead and just get to a new page. Maybe we'll write on the back of this page, save some paper. Let's 
so fountain pen nib this one is 18 karat gold from platinum the way that the fountain pen work is you have a reservoir inside the barrel so this entire thing is full of ink this is a piston that goes up and down so you can suck the ink from a bottle And then once you touch the pen to paper, it's just gonna write. This one is a very, very thick nib. You can see here. It's a hobby, man. Everybody needs to write down stuff. You might as well enjoy it and get a great experience. Uh, this one is not. This one's about $600. This is my personal pen. Uh, it really depends on uh, how much you write. Uh, some pens, for example, this Twisby Eco can last months. When I was in college, I had two of these. I could fill one up at the beginning of the semester, use it literally every single day, fill out two notebooks in a semester while I was in college, doing all of my notes by hand. Uh, and it would still have a little bit of ink left at the end of the semester. So it lasts a long time with something like this. Uh, this pen is a much smaller reservoir and as you can see it writes very very thick uh, so this one will maybe last me a week or potentially two weeks before i refill it um, but refilling it literally takes like 30 seconds so it's not a big deal uh yeah yeah so that video that brendan made earlier he was actually talking about two pens we have the i don't know why i flipped this camera give me a second y'all so we have the Visconti Backgammon limited edition for $3,100. And we have the David Oscarson Deus Regit for $6,400. This pen here is about $4,000 before our discount at the store. So it's $3,160. I believe it retails closer to four. So this is the one that uh, Brendan was talking about. This is actually the most expensive pen that we're showing off today on the stream. 6,400, full sterling silver body. Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, so I've answered it a couple times, but I'll, I'll answer it for you. Um, basically this pen is entirely uh, made out of a, a solid sterling silver rod that is then hand engraved, hand guilloched by master level silversmiths in London. So there's, I think, four or maybe five silversmiths that work under David Oscarson in London, all with decades of experience. And all of this work is done painstakingly by hand. Even the colors here on the hard enamel are hand mixed in a pestle and mortar and applied by a quill. And then every single color has to be fired in a kiln at over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit in different intervals for different colors. So actually 30% of these pens uh, will fail the quality control or get messed up at some point during the process and they have to start over. So you are truly buying a piece of art that you know is an instrument and a tool. Amazing. Like I said, first person that's going to write with this pen is going to be its official owner. That's right. You're my favorite kind of uh, viewer. Not a lot to write with this guy, unfortunately. 
If you guys want, I can write oh, okay. with one of my personal pens. This one's still over a thousand bucks. Is that good enough for y'all? <laughs> uh, we have a number of different collectors that shop from us, but literally any can buy, anyone can buy this pen, atlasstationers.com. This one right here for 4,000. This is the Visconti Backgammon Limited Edition. Very rare, just 128 units worldwide. Uh, all of these pens that I'm showing off today, guys, are live inventory, so eventually these will make its way to customers, so I'm not going to write with it. But I've got some beautiful pens here. Somebody throw out a name. If you want me to write your name, I'll write it right now. And we'll do that for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to have to tune out for today. Richard25, thanks, man. Liam, Chris, Eden. Okay, I'm doing three names. Liam, Chris, and Eden. Let's start with Liam. Quick on the draw, buddy. Good stuff. All right. Liam. Thanks, Liam, aka Coconut 101. Or maybe that's your friend. Thank you, anyways. All right, Chris. I don't really know any good flourishes for my C's. I'm not going to lie. Eden. Oh, I know a decent flourish for my E's. Uh, this is my personal pen, yeah. So this one's my personal one. Uh, all of these other, I, I guys, I work for Atlas Stationers. These are all the shops pens. This is my personal pen, though. <laughs> uh, Kim asks, where do you learn to write like that? Uh, the internet. Um, you know, I just taught myself. Uh, if you go online, it's really easy to find copper plate um, calligraphy workbooks, as well as Spencerian. Um, if you guys learned cursive in school, hopefully you're old enough um, and didn't get left in the dust. Um, but they teach you Palmer style uh, in school. Um, so, you know, that's always a great one to start off with since it's very familiar for a lot of people. And then if you're looking for kind of more traditional scripts, I would recommend trying uh, Copper Plates or Spencerian. Uh, do you get a free pen? Uh, no, unfortunately not. This is my personal pen. We don't even sell this here, guys. Uh, let's see. Sweet. All right. Those are all the questions for today. Really sorry I couldn't get to all your names. I would really love to just sit down and write names and hang out with y'all, but got to help, uh, help my team close up the shop for today. It's already four. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Make this not so ugly of an angle. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's Tuesdays with Alvin. Um, 
If you guys have any questions, you guys can always send us DMs, shoot us an email, uh, give us a call to our store, or come visit here in Chicago. We are located downtown on Franklin and Lake. Super easy to take the train or drive. We've got street parking all around. Uh, so definitely take some time to come check us out. And yeah, thank you, Squatch. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, maybe next week, if you guys tune in next week on Tuesday, 3 p.m. Central Time, I'll make sure that I dedicate like half of the, the end of the stream uh, to just writing names and hanging out with you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, maybe uh, me writing down your names, giving some advice, any questions that you guys have, uh, let's do that next week. I, I didn't make enough time for this week to write everybody's names down, um, but next week, come by. Tuesdays with Dalvin, 3 p.m. Central Time, and we'll do a lot more names after showing off new pens. All right, y'all. Peace.